Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carlos here from Premiere Reviewer. Now, this video is gonna be a quick tip, as you've seen in the name of the title. For those of you who follow me who already know how to edit and do a lot of things in Premiere and anything else and any kind of other editor, this video is not for you. This video is pretty much uh, brought on because I have a lot of subscribers and clients that I work with that always ask me, how do you get your logo into your video? So again, this is for beginners and anyone who had that question uh, while editing videos, how do your favorite YouTubers have their logos perfectly set uh, size-wise and everything else. So let's get right into this video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to your logo, okay? Now this is a video of my last video, so this is a timeline to it. But it's as simple as this. This is why I say it's for beginners and anyone, once you see this, you're gonna, you're really gonna, <laughs> you're gonna be mad that you didn't realize it was this simple. But it's simple as dragging the picture or logo that you have, putting it on the timeline and then stretching it to as far as you want. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit and we're just gonna put it right there. So here's the logo right here. This is it, as you see. So if I just click this, it's not there, it's there. So now all I have to do in this case, I can double click the logo. I can resize, resize it and put it wherever I want. If I want to put it right here, if I want to put it right here, you know, anywhere you want to put it, you just put it for this long and it's there. So no matter where you scrub on, it's gonna show up. And it's as simple as that. Uh, now, if you want to make it transparent in any way, uh, here's here's one. You go into the effects controls. You go into your opacity right here. You can hit either screen. Okay, so let's say I yeah, go to a different clip. It becomes kind of see-through. So that's for that. And or you can keep it at normal and then just change your opacity from here. You can see how it kind of fades in and out. So that's it. Quick tip. Hopefully you guys think that was uh, good enough for anyone who was wondering how to do that. It's that simple. I'm going to be doing more quick tip videos, especially for editing. Again, you can do that for any of your editors. It doesn't have to be any Premiere Pro. Just any editor you want. Drag the picture put it in there, extend it however long you want, resize it, and you're done. So again, I'm gonna be doing more quick tips like this, so stay tuned. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. By the way, hit the little bell to get notified when my next upload will be, all right? Peace out.